Volume is essential in trading because if you trade only at times when there's significant volume in the market, it means you're not the only one trading. You're actually trading alongside many, many other traders. In this video, I'm going to showcase one of the best volume indicators that you can find on TradingView. If you happen to find value in this video, remember to leave a like. Let's get into it. So this indicator is called the Firefly Oscillator. To add it to your chart, you want to go to TradingView. Then open any trading security that you like in any time frame. For me, I'm going to be using the 15 minute time frame of GBPJPY. After that, open the indicator search tab and type in Firefly Oscillator. And be sure to select this one by Lazy Bear. Now, the Firefly Oscillator is a technical analysis tool used in trading to identify bullish and bearish trading volume of a trading security. Now, let's go over what this indicator is made of. So right here, we have the midline that separates bullish from bearish analysis. And then this histogram right here is used to track the different levels of volume in the market. Whenever these histogram bars are green, that indicates the presence of strong bullish volume in the market. Red color indicates bearish volume and then yellow represents a lack of volume in the market. And these are areas where you should not be looking to take any positions. Now, to visualize this histogram even better, I like to change the display style to area. Next, we have an oscillator and a signal line. As you can see, whenever I toggle this on and off, you can see what they represent. For our strategy, we're not going to be using these two lines, so we're going to deselect these two options. On the inputs tab, we can activate the bar colors. This is basically going to mirror what this oscillator is doing, making it easier to analyze the market. And then here, we can smooth out this oscillator even further by checking this box. This indicator also contains an enclosing Bollinger Bands option. It's basically a Bollinger Bands indicator that you can use to identify the market momentum. Whenever these two bands are above the zero level, that indicates a bullish market momentum. Whenever both of them are under the zero level, that indicates bearish market momentum. Now, in order to use this indicator to trade, we need to add two more indicators to the chart. The first one is going to be an entry confirmation indicator, which is actually a buy sell indicator called Pine Trades Market Beacon, which is our own custom indicator that we developed in partnership with Chart Prime. The second indicator that we need is this one called ADX and DI, this one by Beikabu Oyaji. Double click on the ADX and DI indicator and we want to change the ADX line to yellow to make it more visible. And then on the inputs tab, we want to change the length to 20 and the TH value to 30. After that, click OK. For the Pine Trades Market Beacon, the default settings are going to work fine. No need to change anything. Now, the Pine Trades Market Beacon is a private indicator. To get access to it, you want to use this link down in the video description. Next, we're going to go over the conditions for taking long and short positions using this strategy. But before we do that, let's talk about the Forex broker that you can actually use to trade with this strategy if we find it to be profitable. That broker is Hankertrade. Now, I've been using Hankertrade for quite some time. As you can see here, this is my live account on Hankertrade's web trader platform. The reason why I think Hankertrade is a great broker is because of their low commissions and spreads. On Forex, for example, the spreads can go as low as 0.0, .0 pips, which is actually the lowest spreads can go. And for those of us who love high leverage, well, Hankertrade offers a maximum leverage of 1 to 500. And if all of this isn't enough, they're also going to give you a 100% deposit bonus for all your first deposits of between $100 all the way to $25,000. So if you deposit, say, $3,000, they're going to give you a bonus of $3,000, giving you a total of $6,000 to trade with. To access the bonus, as well as all the other perks, well, sign up to Hanker Trade using the link in the video description. Now, back to the video. Now, to take a long trade with this strategy that we just created, these are the conditions. The basis of our strategy is to confirm that the momentum of the market is lining up with volume as well as the trend. So condition number one is to confirm a bullish trend. We're going to be using the PT market beacon for that. We need a long signal to be printed like this to confirm the origin of a bullish market momentum. Next, for volume, we're going to be using the Firefly Oscillator. We need this indicator to be colored green, like it is right here, to indicate the presence of enough bullish volume in the market for us to take this long position. 
Then lastly, to confirm a bullish trend, we're going to be using the ADX and DI indicator. We need the ADX line, basically this yellow line, to be above the 10 level. The 10 level is this white dotted line right here. Once we confirm it's above this level, we need this green line to be above the red line. Now, what does all this mean? Well, having the ADX line above the 10 level indicates that the market may be trending. But to confirm whether it's a bullish or a bearish trend, we're going to be using this red and green lines. Having the green line above the yellow line indicates that the trend is bullish. At the same time, having the red line under the yellow line indicates that the bearishness of the market is suppressed by the bullish trend. All our entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're gonna enter a long position here. The stop loss is gonna go right under the most recent swing low. For the take profit, well, we're gonna target a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2 letting the trade run and it was profitable now here is one more long position we had a long signal printed by the pt market beacon indicating the onset of this bullish momentum the firefly oscillator was also colored green indicating the presence of sufficient bullish volume in the market lastly the yellow adx line was above the 10 level with a green line above it at the same time this red line was actually under it because if you look closely you can see that there is actually a crossover that just happened and this red line went under the yellow line this is what we're looking for for the red line to be under the yellow line at the same time the green line to be above the same yellow line this indicates that the market is in a bullish trend all the entry conditions are met on this candle so we're gonna take a long position now to take a short position we're gonna do the opposite of everything we just did for these long positions so first, we're going to look for a short signal to be printed by the PT market beacon indicator. This short signal indicates the onset of a bearish market momentum. Condition number two is to confirm that the market has sufficient bearish volume for us to take this short position. The firefly oscillator was colored bright red, which confirms our second condition. Then lastly, we need to confirm that the market is in a bearish trend. For that, we want to ensure that this yellow ADX line is above this white dotted line. At the same time, the red line should be above the yellow line, indicating that the trend is bearish. Now, to reduce the chances of there being any bullishness in the market, we want to ensure that this green line is under the yellow line. Entry conditions are met on this candle, so we're going to enter a short position. The stop loss goes right above the most recent swing high. Then for the take profit, well, we're going to target a risk reward ratio of 1 to 2. Letting this trade run and it was profitable. In summary, using the Firefly Oscillator for volume identification is crucial because it highlights strong bullish and bearish market volume filtering out false signals. This ensures that trades are based on significant market activity and trends. Well, that's basically everything for this video. I hope you found some value. If you did, hit the like button below and consider subscribing to stay tuned. Thanks for watching. See you next time.